gosh, I took an entire week and a half off from vlogging and I have no idea why I'm standing here, honestly. You want a tripod and I'm talking to you. But today is Friday and like I said, I took an entire week and a half off and I'm so flipping glad that I did because sometimes when you're a multitude of different tasks and for different jobs and stuff it just becomes too much and i finished reading the father in club which you would have seen in my previous vlog that book is absolutely amazing it is money well spent i paid 230 then for this book at bargain books and let me tell you it has changed my life i do wake up at five o'clock and it's been an adjustment but a good adjustment like i'm energized i'm focused i know what i want now in life not to the t like i don't know exactly where my life is going but i'm just more in it it is half past seven and quit and i are gonna go for a stroll along the beach we are trying to do more walks when courtney is off or he works a little bit earlier anyway so that's what we're doing. Courtney's just in the bathroom. He's getting down. My face is sweaty. How was the walk? It was nice. Courtney wore the screw neck and a jacket. Afterwards, I realized that I'm getting I'm out. like, it's hot, it's dude. because you didn't have a jacket on, so I just thought that maybe you're going to ask my jacket and I didn't want to get cold. No, I didn't ask for jacket. But yeah, it was so nice. Can I make me some breakfast? <laughs> Monday and I have no idea what the time is actually to be honest. Oh, it's up for seven. Obviously, I wake up at five o'clock and then I, I do my little workout, I journal, and then I read for a little bit. I thought I'd show you guys. Oh, there we go. What book I am reading? I finished Leave Me by Gail Foreman, and I'm now reading The Boy at the top of the mountain it's actually a children's book i'm actually realizing about the jargon that <laughs> it's a child's children's book but it's fine it's still interesting nevertheless i am boiling the water so that i can do the dishes quickly because I, I was too lazy to do it yesterday and this morning i just got dressed in this nice floral little muddy dress and then i did my hair and i just feel good today one of the things that i have been watching is queer eye oh my gosh i don't know why i didn't watch it sooner one of the things that they were saying is that like i don't i mean first and foremost i know nothing about skincare my skincare routine is letting me washing my face in the morning and then spraying it with thermal spring water and that's it and then at night I will wash my face and then I would use this um, tissue oil and I sleep oh, come on and that's my skincare routine however when I was watching Korea Eye they were like no you need to like hydrate your face and get something like a day cream that's got SPF in it and also I'm getting older so my skin ain't gonna stay like this forever so I got this um, perfect and radiant even though day cream and it's got SPF 30 I was just like okay whatever has SPF that's fine so that's what I've been doing Last bit of bread and going to put it in an oven like a mini pizza that I did last night, and I'll show you today. So it's like a roasted bread, but on a pita bread, and it's like a pizza. <laughs> so it's just baking paper. Oh my god, it's frozen. 
And then I just use non-stick spray basically. I don't put anything on the pita braid itself. Um, I'm just gonna put it in the So, a mozzarella. Mozzarella cheese. And then, onion. I didn't buy big tomatoes, I only had these mini tomatoes from Woolworths. <laughs> So good. It's still a little bit hot. I mean, I know I'm being biased, but this is a really good snack to have. Mm -hmm. Go to the shop because Courtney is not going to have another day off next week. So I bought things now for next week because I do weekly shopping. And holy crap, my things are starting to become really expensive. Which is not great because I keep having to up the food budget. But this is a major, major problem. And it's not that we really buy unnecessary things. So, for example, we just bought these sachets of cappuccinos. We don't even buy the box because the box is so expensive. Um, and the only like sort of extra things were these um, sea salted mixed vegetable crisps that I got at Woods because I'm kind of like trying to eat healthier so I'm not really into those like lays and stuff the way Courtney is and then this bag of pretzels and it was just hella expensive anyway I'm just gonna pack all of this stuff away and then I'm actually gonna just show you what I bought for the Santa shoe box and a little treat for myself i also bought these flowers and i at least try and buy myself a bunch of flowers once a month and yeah this i mean it is flowers are becoming expensive i mean this batch was 150 then so i don't even look at chitty mocha or just like out of order but if you know me if you watch me for a while, you know that I never buy clothes or shoes. And also I never buy expensive shoes. I saw these wedges online. Or these espadrilles. Is this what you call it? Let me see. I saw these on Hood's website. And I was like, I never buy me shoes like these. And I've got a wedding coming up. And I'm just thinking that I want to just like up my style a little bit. So these were 400 and I mean, they're expensive for me. So, I just decided, okay, I'll just buy it. Like, I've got nothing to lose other than the 400 rand that I spent on it. And then, of course, I'm doing the Santa shoe box. So, I thought I'd just show you what it is that I've got. I have a three, a two-year-old boy, actually. And um, we found a coloring in book. We got him some, like, sweets. I still need to buy a little bit more. I couldn't find, like, flings. And then I got his toothbrush, his crayons. And I think I put an eraser as well. We've got a little toy, a little car that I got, um, and then I just need to fetch the bed that my mom had knitted for the little boy. His face cloth, and then I got this little outfit that I thought I'd show you. And I bought all of these at Pip. So this is little shorts, and this was 60 rem. And then his little top, which I thought was so super cute. Um, and this was 50 then. And I bought a bridal shower a gift as well, which is next week. I'm just saying money flying off my account. Oh, and then I told you guys that I bought the two tier shoe rack and it didn't fit. So we took it back and we got the 10 tier one, which you can actually pull apart. Courtney says it just about fits, but we're gonna see now if it will fit. Because I really, really, really need a shoe rack. My shoes are not damaged. Because all of my shoes are damaged. Because they are in boxes. Or well, they're in a box and it's, the lid is closed. So it's like squishing the shoes. 
so i just need something where my shoes can breathe and that it's not gonna get damaged good morning i look put together today because i decided that when i'm at home i'm going to like at least like make myself feel good i thought i'd show you what we did was the shoe rack last night because i did not want to take this camera out it doesn't matter what shoe rack we keep getting it's just too big for this carpet space so we decided to do it like this we put it to the side ideally i would have liked it to go this way but this is also fine all my shoes is here and what i like is that at least the space is open for me to at least pull the shoes out so my trainers are here because i exercise in the morning so it's just easy for me to grab but let me show you the other side this is the second carpet and obviously these dresses are gonna go to the other side because it's now getting hot this is an issue and this travel bag is an issue and also these dresses are long which means it covers the top part and i need the top part because i've got boots that don't for two well in the second year i'm thinking of putting this bag there and bringing those camping trees and christmas tree yeah i'm busy reading watch your move by nicolette and i am on page 60 and i actually page 60 chapter 4 and how many chapters are there? there are 17 chapters what i like so far about this book is a, it's a collection of financial lessons that she had gone through and her experience and i like that it's a story form like each chapter is an actual story and lessons to be learned and what she got out of her past mistakes and etc there's not like you have to do this 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 and that and like big financial job and that we don't understand i actually because i've been watching her videos on youtube buying this book was a no-brainer yeah i actually really like it even like the paper i mean it's so cock weird to say <laughs> the paper the size of the book because it's it's nice i sit here and i do this Thursday today and it's just after 10 past 8. I have to write a tribute to one of our colleagues who had passed away um, from battling cancer for a few years. Um, she actually worked at my second job so she has been there since like forever. When I asked my boss yesterday like how long has she actually worked there, it's like over 30 years. But the last I would say two three years she hasn't worked there because of her ongoing um struggle with cancer and obviously we found out yesterday that she had passed on and i just thought it would be just so lovely to just write a tribute on our facebook page about her because she was like we all knew her we all loved her we still funny enough i remember a few weeks my boss was still saying listen she's still part of us let's send her gift basket and like still like be in communication with her regardless if she hasn't worked for us for the last two to three years so yeah i just found a picture that i took in 2016 of her and i'm so glad i took this picture and it just shows like how bubbly she was so <laughs> luckily i didn't delete it i'm just gonna write this through a bit quickly and then um kind of start my day off oh it's lunch time and i'm starving i'm gonna just like the echo on toast and um and then some feta cheese over it i just spent the last hour trying to get onto either the R rcs group or game because i checked my credit report after reading a chapter in um what you move the book and it scared me and the last time i checked my credit is like report was like i said three years ago when i applied for this apartment and i attached my credit like report with it that was the last time so i decided to check and i checked courtney's also and both of our guys we closed our game okay courtney closed his back in 2018 i closed mine in the end of december i had to actually follow up in in february of this year just to check if it's actually closed and i said it was and it was closed because i didn't receive any more statements and stuff from them but the fact that it's still active on my profile is like what the heck guys and courtney's i mean this is two years ago i tried to try and get a settlement letter 
and or to show that it's closed it's a nightmare it's an absolute nightmare they are the worst you i mean even in the past just trying to get a hold of thing is like it will honestly drive you to drink like let's just be real eventually i got through to someone and she talks as if she just don't have lust like she literally does not have lust to have this conversation with you she's like no it is closed and we will send you a settlement later it will take like 24 hours i mean it took them two months to close my account like i can just see me not getting a settlement later I can see it not being updated on my report. I'm not holding my breath, guys. I'm not holding my breath. So this wine from the Toit Kloof, um, I got from my cousin. Yes, my cousin now. It's actually called his cousin, but they were here last night to fetch something. So he was like, Stephen, I've got this wine in my car. Like I know you're gonna like it. So I'm very excited. And then I just got dropped off this little wine. It's from Journey's End, and I've had the wines before. And Oh, let's take it out. Oh, it's a 2018 Chardonnay, um, and it's one of the collection destinations. This is what it's. But I'm not a Chardonnay person. I'm not a white wine kind of person. Thank you so much for the little press drop. I am making some chips in the air fryer. Courtney is also here, so I'm just gonna eat it like this because I don't want to eat and. That's what we're gonna do. What we also have a matric ball or Cody's cousins. This matric ball is this afternoon. So we are just gonna go there. <laughs> You're always so weird. <laughs>